Here's one more game of NIM to illustrate the master strategy based on my binary numbers, or in other words, groups grouping into powers of two, or virtual grouping into powers of two, which is a little bit more friendly way to say it, perhaps. So it's a pretty similar board to start out with. It's not super different. I just wanted to show you just one key thing once again. Uh, we start with three, five, and seven. And so I've shown you that if you put on the binary number glasses or the grouping into powers of two glasses, and you imagine that as a two and a one, a four and a one, a four and a two and a one. Or in binary notation, it's zero and one for the three, one zero one for the five, and one 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 for the seven. That's what the first player has to deal with. And the first player wants to put that in a symmetrical position. Well, here that's not too hard. You just take away this one. Because uh, if you just use those glasses, here's a 4 and a 2 and a 1. Here's a 4, a 2, and a 1. And that 1 is clearly extra. So this is an example of a, a pretty simple kind of move that you can do just by taking away, just really by grouping them into these groups and then just taking one away. It doesn't always work that way, as, as we've seen and we'll see in a minute as well. But that's the simplest kind of move uh, for in this kind of strategy. So here's what player 2 has to play with. 3, 4, 7. Okay. So that has even, even, even sums, and so theoretically, player two is uh, not in a good position. Well, let's say player two tries a pretty aggressive move, take away six of the seven here, down to one. So it's now three, four, one. How does player one deal with that with our strategy? So once again, let's see, we've got to get it back to where all the column sums are even, or in other words, where we can sort of use our glasses to group this all symmetrically. And we, player two, took away a four group. And that was matched with this four group. So like here in the binary numbers, there's only one four group left. There's no way we can fix that by adding in a one here. If we look at the biggest kind of group, like if there was a, the biggest one is an 8 group, or the biggest one is a 16 group, or the biggest one here is a 4 group, the only way to fix that is by getting rid of it. The other ones we can add back in, and that's what's going to happen. But this one, the only way to, get, to uh, fix it is to get rid of it. So we get rid of the 4 group, but that gives us some leeway. We now have 4 sticks in our hand, which we can sort of put back. Now again, we wouldn't want to do it like that in play, but it's going to be equivalent to that. We take away the 4 group, and then we say, oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to take all those four away. What can I do with those? And the great thing about four is that you take them away. That gives you the ability. You've taken out a one, zero, zero in binary. It gives you the ability to put back in any number that's smaller than that. And that is any pattern of ones and zeros in these two digits. That's how binary numbers works. If you take away uh, a four, then you're looking at any binary number, and that just means an arbitrary pattern of ones and zeros in these two digits. What can I do with that? Well, I've taken away the one here, so it's going to come down to zeros in this column, so that's good. That's an even sum. And then all I have to do is make sure all the other sums come out even. But I can put in an arbitrary pattern of ones and zeros here in the, in the second two digit, or in the two digit, two digit and the ones digit. I'm going to be able to do that. I just say, okay, let's see. A one, oh, this was odd. I need to put back in two. That's good. This one zero one oh that was already even. I don't need to fix that. That's done. And so what amounts to is you take away the four and you put back in a two. Or really, what you do, th having thought this out somewhat quickly, hopefully, you just take away two from this pile. And so that's all that happens in terms of the gameplay. But a good way to think about it is you've taken away the biggest, uh, f the biggest power of two that the other person took away. The four group disappeared, and so that has to disappear as well, to because it doesn't have a mate that could, it could possibly uh, pair up with. And then you just use that to put back in whatever needs to be put back in to make it symmetrical again. Well, one other way to think about it is taking away, like this person took away a four group and a two group. Well, if all you care about is whether the number of a certain kind of group, like a two group, is even or odd, it's in a, it's the same thing to take away gr a group or add a group in. So I'm kind of mirroring in a kind of a weird way. The player two took away a four and a two group to go down to here. I can mirror the action of taking away a four group because here's a four group to be taken away. Boom, it's gone. I can mirror, in a certain sense, the take action of taking away a two group by putting in a two group. These guys used to be matched, these two groups here. And this two group went away. 
I need to create a new partner for this guy. And that's what I do. Bef because I've taken away the four group, I have a lot of leeway to create new partners for ones that lost their old partner. So I take away the four group because it doesn't have a partner, and I put back in a two group to be the partner to this guy who needs a partner. And now it's back to what looks like a symmetrical position if I'm wearing the binary number glasses. And so what is this is what two has to play, player two has to play with. Player two has various options, but they're all bad. For example, player two could take away the one here. Now it's an asymmetrical position again, but very easy to fix. Just take away the one. That's what player one will do. And you get down to a 2-2, two, two, and that's a definitely a losing position for number two, because now it's actually visibly symmetrical, and it's easier for player one to, to mirror the moves. So that's the that's the, the strategy, and that's the idea of the strategy. Let's go back up to the to the principles one more time. We've got bad and good positions. And bad means there's an even number of one groups, an even number of two groups, an even number of four groups, or in other words, if you write the number uh, of of the group of each group in binary, line them up in columns, the column sums should be even. That's what you want to create for your opponent because it's a bad position. The empty position is certainly an example of that with all zeros. Playing from a bad position must leave the bad set because when you change a binary number, you've got to change at least one of its digits, and that's going to screw up the evenness of the column sums. And playing from a good position can always create a bad position because you can always take a big, if you just look at the, the first group you need to fix, uh, the first column sum you need to fix, take away one of those, like down here, here was a good example. Um, player one had to play this position here. Um, you take away a four group here, because that was a bad column sum. Or that was a, actually, it was a good one. It was a, a column sum that I need to fix in order to create a bad position for, for my opponent. And then taking away that 4 lets you do whatever you want with the other digits, basically. Because you can take that 4 and sprinkle the remainder among the other digits to change them in whatever way you need. And in this case, that was to change this 0 into a 1, to create a 2 group to pair with this guy, and to delete the one group because these guys are already paired and I didn't need a one group anymore. And so that ha that's how it works. It's a little tricky to play that full strategy in play unless you are a, um, your opponent is pretty patient. Um, but the more you play it, the, the, the better you get at it. And as I say, the way I usually think about it is I don't try to do it with binary numbers is I try to visualize these groupings, and then I just try to visualize how do I get it to be a symmetrical position given this magical ability I have to pretend that it's, it's grouped in 1, 4, 1, 4, as opposed to just 1, 5, 4, for example. Um, and there's uh, some other little tips and tricks that you can learn from books and things like that for uh, really good NIM play. Basically, just faster ways to implement this strategy. Um, but this is the uh, definitely the the default strategy, the winning strategy for an imp.